folks, how we doing? Welcome to Bulldog Barbecue. We're gonna do a little breakfast burrito. Kinda odd, but it works. Got me some scrambled eggs. Got me some sausage crumbles. Some Colby Jack cheese. And of course, got me a little margarine here. We're gonna take and move you down this direction. I got me a pan on here. I got me a little onions over here that I'm going to put in here. I'm going to stir them up a little bit there. All right, this is my egg fork. Put that right there. Cheese and our butter. I'm going to put me a little bit of butter in here. I'm going to get this up on 275. I'm going to turn it down to about 240. That's a little warm. Alright. Let's let that melt. Alright. We're going to need our sausage. Let me get it. There. I'm putting the sausage in the little onion container. Alright. Get this butter smeared out here a little bit. We're going to put our egg in here. Onions, and you can put anything your little heart desires into this. And I'm going to spread me some onions out in here. There we go. I'm going to take my crumbled my sausage crumbles in there. Spread them out. I'm going to put me some Colby Jack cheese on here. Don't just put this in the middle now. Spread this all over. Put a little more right there. I'm going to take us a flour tortilla shell. And I'm going to push it right down in that pan so it'll warm up. There we go. We're done with that. We're done with that one. Let that cook there a minute. And you can literally put anything in this, okay? Don't have to just be sausage and I'm going to let that, doesn't take too long. You're just cooking them eggs, so turn it back up here to 250. Look, let's see if we can, if you can see that. The cheese is melting and everything getting gooey. When that gets, uh, firmed up there pretty good, then we'll turn it over. Just keep an eye on them eggs. I don't want them to burn. Let's turn this back up to our 275 there. That's where I cooked it at the other day. This thing was amazing. I loved it. And I just did it with cheese and eggs. We're probably going to need our fork. Alright, let's 
think should be done on this side. Let's check her out here. She looks like she probably hold together pretty good. See if she releases. There we go. I'm gonna get underneath it here. Just like a so. I'm gonna turn that bad boy over right there. There we go. Pull my shell out there. There. Now, we're gonna let that tortilla shell brown just a little bit. And we're gonna be done. How simple is this? I mean, and believe me, this thing tastes good. I ate it the other night and my lips was smacking. But there's a lot here. You can share this with two people. Cut it in half, share it if you want. All right, we're going to move you back over here. Because we're going to roll you out here on the counter. It's totally up to you how dark you want it to get. That is plenty for me. I'm going to reach down here and roll it up. Oh, there. I'm going to cut her in half. Now that's breakfast burrito. But we're going to have to wait for that thing to cool down because I guarantee you it is smoking hot. Look at the steam coming off of it. She's steaming. Whew. Looks good, though. Hmm. All right. We're going to get us a plate here. Put me a burrito on there. Let's put that one over there. Let's give this thing a, a little taste test here. Like I said, look at that. Now it's open on the other end, but since you fried everything together, it's not going to jump out on you. Mmm. Wow, that's good. You can add salt and pepper to it. Whatever your little heart desires. Uh, before you roll it up, what I would do because of the cheese and stuff, I'd get my little salt. Put me just a hair of salt on there. A little bit of hair of that pepper. And I'll close her back up there. You can even put more cheese on it if you wanted while it was sitting there on the counter. It's as hot as all get out, but that's good. So you need to give that one a try. Not hard to make. Either get you the small tortilla shells or use a large skillet. It's up to you. So till next time, folks. Bulldog says see you.